Hello everyone and welcome back to the newest episode of my new to legend series. In this episode we are going to be killing 512 cave bugs. Now before we get into that I did sneak some quick quests in. So those were the Plague City quest, Fight Terina, Vampire Slayer, Night Sword, Romeo and Juliet and the True Gnome Village quest. Now those quests were able to get me to 40 attack which was the main aim of it so straight after I went and got myself the rune simi as well as some mithril armor because I only have 20 defense and a combat bracelet for the cave bud task. Now our gear is starting to pick up so that is actually pretty nice and it's definitely some progress which is pretty amazing actually it's nice to see the account progressing up through the videos. Um, I also then made my way over to the slayer master as well so I could obtain the slayer gem and the spiny helmet to begin my task. So killing cave bugs do have a couple requirements, the main one being the level 7 slayer which you can get straight away from doing the Farrakh Museum if you haven't done it already and the second thing that you'll be needing is the light source because it is a dungeon, it is dark and it is pretty scary. Well it's not that scary, it's got some frogs in it like frogs are kind of scary I guess. Um, but yeah they are both easy to obtain so don't worry about that too much. Um, if you don't have a light source just buy a candle or a bullseye lantern if you can in the grand exchange. Um, I would also suggest taking a spiny helmet as well because you will be taking damage from the wall beasts if you do not have one on. Uh, but that's only if you do decide to kill the cave bugs where I am killing them. The helm does require level 5 defense to wear so do keep that in mind if you are 1 defense pure or if you just simply don't have 5 defense then I do suggest getting it. Now these were a lot easier to kill than I originally anticipated because I didn't actually look these up before I started so I ended up taking um, supersets and lobsters with me and then after killing a few I was like oh they only have 5 HP and yeah you don't really need supersets because I take no damage and I hit 5 anyway with that being boosted so yeah it was a complete waste of money and time to actually take the lobsters and the supersets but in return I will not be adding those at the end because I didn't eat a lobster and although I did take a dose it's not needed so basically killing these are pure profit because you use no supplies at all which is actually very nice. I also only killed the cave bugs in this area as well, mostly because there was three that spawned right next to each other, but it was just faster for me to get to. I did explore around a tiny bit, but my light source just kept blowing up on me wherever I decided to go, so I would not suggest it unless if you have a bullseye lantern, which did require 49 fire making, which I don't obviously have yet. So if you do want to explore in here, make sure you bring a bullseye lantern that you can light of course, and yeah, feel free to find a better place if you choose to. But this place was more or less fine for me and you probably wait maybe five seconds after you kill all three before they start respawning so it's not that bad really. Something else I also noticed as well was when I got a couple candles drops which were supposedly meant to be rare but I got quite a few of them but for no apparent reason I decided to just randomly light one and I noticed that the room got brighter. Now this was something I wasn't aware about and I never knew so I lit another one and another one and I actually end up finding out that if you light three of them it makes the room normal brightness. If you light more than three it makes no difference but there is three different light stages so obviously you've got the one for one being lit, there's uh, a little brighter for, be for two being lit and then it's just full brightness when you have three lit. So if you ever do come down here to kill these or kill cave slimes or the frogs, which I don't know why you'd kill frogs, but yeah, or just questing, if you do want to come down here and have maximum brightness, make sure to bring three light sources because it does make a massive difference. And for the sake of the video, um, I did keep three in my infant because it just made it easier to see stuff and especially the drops as well because some of the drops, especially the herbs even, they just blended into the ground quite a lot. So I would definitely suggest it. Now someone else actually said to me after making my last video that they would like to see a loot video on every Slayer monster in the game because some monsters people just don't actually kill like Infernal Mages, Fever Spiders, Terror Dogs uh, as well as a few other ones. So I thought it was an amazing idea so I've decided that once I hit a specific Slayer level that unlocks a new creature I will make a loot video on them. So how this works is if I get the Slayer level for Abyssal Demons, which is 85 of course, I will go and do a, an Abyssal Demon task for the video um, because my Slayer log will be starting at zero. And for all future Slayer creatures I will be using the Slayer log to track the kills because it's just more accurate and it's easier to do as well. 
But anyways, there isn't really much more else to say about the cave bugs, so let's go and see what the 512 kills got us. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a nice amount of herbs here. 90 gums probably being the one that stands out the most because it is a substantial amount compared to the others. But we did also get 9 erets, 6 Aphanto, 11 Harrylanda, 16 Marintil, 2 Cadentine, 7 Quorm, 12 Renars, 20 Taramen, 2 Dwarf Weeds, and we actually got no Lantern Dimes to finish the herb set because obviously you can't get Snapdragons, Toadflax, and Torstals. Um, but the rest of the loot is fairly average. I was expecting the second herb ingredients to be just a little more common, so that did surprise me just a tiny bit. But let's go and sell all this stuff and see how much we make. Okay, so I've just finished selling all of that, and we ended up with 148,547 coins. That is not bad at all, especially considering that these only took me 2 hours to kill and using no supplies at all, even with my current stats. So just to quickly summarise these up for you, they are super easy to kill with only 5 HP, they deal next to no damage so you don't need any food, and they don't drop clues which I think is kind of unfortunate really because most Slayer monsters do drop clues. Um, but you don't really need them especially since they are fairly decent herb droppers which is where most of the money is made for sure. So yeah, that's cave bugs for you and I hope you enjoy seeing the loot of 512 of them. As always, I have included extra information at the end of this video for anyone who is interested so make sure to give it a little look before you go. Thank you all so much for watching, if you did enjoy please make sure to drop a sub, it does mean a lot to me and you'll also be notified for when new episodes come out so you do benefit I hope. Um, but yeah, feel free to comment below as well with any suggestions for future episodes. I have started to stream the progression side of this account as well outside of the 512 tasks so if you are interested in watching that live I've put the link in the description below to my Twitch channel and make sure you give that a cheeky little follow as well so you are notified for when I do go live. Um, other than that I hope you enjoyed seeing the loot of 512 cave bugs and I'll see you in my next episode and take it easy.